Hello, welcome back to another episode on Red Foxy. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Pregnant wife had a five month long affair. I have been with my wife for 13 years. I was only 19 and she 18 when we started dating. We have a three year old child together and discovered she was pregnant September 2018. He was born June 6th. Just a couple days ago, she finally confessed that she has had a physical affair which lasted from November through March with a coworker, again while she was pregnant with my son. She told me it originally started as an emotional affair in September, right around when she found out she was pregnant. I feel so lost and devastated. That my partner of 13 years could betray me like this. That these last couple of months I have been living were a lie. That while we were living as a family, going to the zoo, celebrating Thanksgiving, Christmas, our daughter's birthday, while I was in the hospital for her C-section. She had been having SX and talking to someone else. She even told me he texted her after the C-Society and asking how it went. She told me the first time she was with him was right after a work function. I looked at my text history from that day and it was so normal. All she said was hey about to leave work. Going to stop for food on the way home. See you soon. But no, she was out having SX with someone else while I was home watching our daughter. November was also the last time my wife and I had SX. She stopped having SX with me because she was with someone else. She even said to me I'm not a SLT, I won't have SX with multiple people at the same time. That's why I stopped having SX with you. I always thought that she just wasn't up for it because of being pregnant. We've been talking a lot the past few days on how we've got here. She's basically told me she's felt extremely distant and disconnected from me. Like I don't like or listen to her anymore. She said she started feeling this way around Sep 2017. Ironically, this was right around the time I terribly injured my back. For months I could barely walk, I couldn't put my shoes on, my leg would feel like it was on fire and go numb. I still have chronic 24-7 pain to this day. I know I wasn't myself during this time, I was extremely depressed and would cry a lot, sometimes I would lash out in anger because of my pain. I wasn't able to be there for her because of what I was going through. Still, I never realized things had been that bad between us. I know we had rough patches, but thought we moved past it. I also know I haven't been the best husband. She always does 90% of the housework, drops and picks up our daughter from daycare. I stopped wearing my wedding ring a while ago, not for any good reason, just that it was uncomfortable and bothered me. I can be emotionally distant and dismissive at times. That sometimes I'm really only affectionate with her when I wanted to have sx. She also said the last straw with feeling any connection with me was how my reaction to her finding out she was pregnant was so cold. I pretty much just said yeah not surprised. I know how it works I feel so bad for my 3 year old daughter for what is going to happen. Her entire life has been her parents in a single family home. And I can't believe this is where my partner and I are after so many years together. Am I completely insane for even considering trying to work things out between my wife and I? Update 1, my father and ex-wife were both cheaters. D-Day was almost 6 months ago, when my son was 1 month old. My ex-wife had an affair with a co-worker pretty much the entire time she was pregnant. Emotional and physical, the whole thing. I eventually learned that she was even texting AP saying she loved him while I was in the hospital supporting her during the C-section. That at times she was out with AP while I was home watching our three-year-old daughter. Yes I'm sure he's my son, did the paternity test. My father was also a cheater. He was cheating on my mom while she was pregnant with both me and my older sister. I always knew my father cheated and that's why my parents divorced when I was only a few months old. Funny how now I also divorced when my son was around the same age that I was. For most of my life I remember my dad being active in my life and being a supportive parent. Even though he lived 3 hours away we talked on the phone a lot and he would come visit most every weekend. I think he changed a lot, and now even says he has no idea what he was thinking when he was younger. But lately, I feel like I have a lot of resentment towards him for doing to my mom what my ex-wife did to me. Maybe it's irrational for something that was 30 plus years ago. But I guess how can I talk to him and feel supported when he did the same thing? The other night my daughter was in a Christmas play at church. So of course my family was there but I just felt so awkward and alone. Sitting there with my cheating wife, cheating father, and my stepmom who was the AP 30 plus years ago. It's been rough. Update 2, wife cheated. I'm filled with so much rage. I've posted here a couple times over the past few months. But I'm still struggling with the anger over everything. We were together for 13 years, married for 7. Then she had an emotional and physical affair with a co-worker while pregnant with our son. D-Day was when he was 1 month old. Yes he's mine, 
did the paternity test. After putting the pieces together I learned she was out seeing AP while I was home with our older daughter. That she was texting AP saying she loved him while we were in the hospital together for her C-section. I'm so shocked and angry with everything, especially that this was going on while pregnant. I was doing the things I was supposed to be doing, like coming home early from work so she could go to prenatal yoga and just generally trying to be supportive. But now I feel so used. So angry that while she was having an affair she still had the nerve to complain to me that I wasn't getting the baby room ready fast enough. That she told me the reason she didn't want to be intimate with me during the pregnancy was because she was having an affair. I thought she just didn't want to be intimate because she was you know. Pregnant and not feeling it. I thought I was being supportive. We went to a couple marriage counseling sessions, although I don't really know why. While in session she said to me you need to see me as a co-parent, not as a romantic partner. She's just so cold and acts like she doesn't care at all about what she did. Then, I shouldn't have, but I read some of her texts to AP. She was telling AP I was toxic, apparently for being so angry at the situation and just generally complaining about me to him. My son triggers me, although it's gotten better, it's just so hard knowing he was there. My wife told AP how I was struggling with things and AP was making comments like lol does he even know how to be a father. This is what the guy who was HOKing up with my pregnant wife said. We have been living apart for several months now. But the anger still feels so strong. Sometimes I feel so overwhelmed from everything. How could I ever cope with this guy being part of my kids' lives after what's been done and said? Update 3, it's hard not to blame myself. I had seriously injured my back herniated disc, a year before the affair started. I know I really wasn't present during that time. There was a period of a few months where I was struggling to walk. After work I would pretty much just come home and crash on the couch to try to alleviate the pain. I stopped sleeping in our bed. Something about it made my pain worse. She started doing pretty much all of the housework. It definitely took a toll on my mental health. But it really hurts that when we talked after the affair she said I don't think you realize how hard that was for me. I could barely walk but it was hard for her? Then she said I still needed you to support me. I mean. Okay I get that. But I guess it just makes me feel like it's my fault for not being present during my own struggle. It makes me feel like it didn't matter what I was going through, I still had to be her support person when I needed help and support. But I guess the silver lining is learning that she couldn't support me in my time of need. I guess I feel like I was I only worth keeping around while on top of my game. Or maybe it really is my fault and I'm just using my back injury as an excuse. Final update, wife had an affair while pregnant, 2.5 year update. Quick backstory, my now ex-wife started an affair with a co-worker in the fall of 2018 while pregnant. Our son was born June 2019 and the affair came out in July when son was about a month old. We divorced and she moved out of our house shortly after. Feel free to look at my post history or ask if you're interested in any other info. I've been living alone for over two years now. Still in the house we originally bought together. I also have our two kids 50% of the time. Even on days I don't have the kids I still get to bring them to and from school slash daycare every day. Things seem pretty normal and routine at this point and I don't get triggered anymore. The best is that I feel like I can bond better with my son now. He used to be such a trigger and it would be really difficult to feel bonded knowing my ex-wife was carrying him during the affair. I haven't heard anything about AP since the divorce. I think that fell apart pretty quickly once everything came out. I started dating about a year ago and met someone that I get along really well with. She's met the kids a few times and they really like her. We've even all done some small day trips together. It does seem a little funny now that ex-wife is single after the affair while I am dating. I guess I'm sad on the kids' behalf that they have to grow up with divorced parents and obviously it's something I never wanted for them. But overall things aren't too bad and I'm trying my best for them.